Family is left searching for answers into how their loved one turned up dead inside a truck. Relatives say Maria Santiago Marquez was found last night on the Port Freeway near Coolidge in southeast Houston. Tonight, her husband is remembering her as a woman dedicated to her job and three children. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers is live at HPD headquarters with her story now. Brittany. Yeah, Lauren, this started out as a missing persons case. I spoke with the victim's husband, and he tells me that he knew something was wrong when he couldn't get in touch with his wife last night. He said he went ahead and filed that missing persons report, and just hours later, he says his wife's body was found inside of her pickup. Victor Mejia says he's replayed his last conversation with his wife over and over again. He said, my love. I come in for the child. Maybe in one or one thirty, coming. Don't worry, don't worry. That's it. He says last night his wife of 11 years and mother of three, Maria Santiago Marquez, was found dead in the passenger seat of her avalanche pickup truck, abandoned along the Laporte Freeway near Coolidge Street. Detectives are working to piece together what happened. Uh, we're checking the area. There's uh, lots of businesses. There's a school down the road. Um, so we're checking the area for some surveillance cameras. Victor says the family contracts granite work. He says Maria had been working at a home in Pearland on Wednesday, but he grew worried when he hadn't heard from her. He says that he went by to check on her, and when he couldn't find her, Victor says he filed a police report. He says he then tracked her cell phone to an apartment complex near the area where the truck was found. Victor says he doesn't know what played out, but he and his children are hurting. Era muy buena, dedicada a su trabajo. She was a good person, dedicated to her job and dedicated to her daughters, and want answers for Maria. I need justice for my wife. Very difficult time for that family as well as the extended family. They say that is in town this weekend. In the meantime, the medical examiner has not yet released a cause of death in this case. Reporting live tonight in downtown Houston, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Brittany.